Hello, fire signs, and welcome to your reading. This is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we are going to do middle of the month messages, middle of the month, June, so mid-June messages from now until, whoa, already jumping out, from now until um, end of June. Okay, and we will start with, oh man, cards are just flipping out. I haven't even set intention yet. Okay, <laughs> we'll start with Aries. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, new vitality. Center of the spread. I love that. Breathing new life into yourself. Let's see. Let's get four surrounding cards. Okay, for Aries, okay, okay, I'll take it. Okay, perfect, two more cards, okay, got one more card for Aries, perfect, okay, <clears throat> let's see what we got going on here. All right, three jumped out together, so I felt I was going to take them together as one. So, we've got accelerated motion. We've got base shocker. I freaking love that. And awareness. Okay. Which is great because that two, there's two ones. Look at this. So, the base shocker has a one on it, and so does the awareness. Oh, and so does the new vitality. Wow. Okay, we've already started at three ones. So a lot of new beginnings, a lot of new energies coming in. But it was cool that we had the base chakra card coming in because, like, to me, this is like the chakra systems, you know? Okay, so one, one, one. Maybe pay attention to some angel numbers. Are you seeing um, ascension codes? Maybe it's 11, 11. Maybe it's just one, one, one. Maybe it's uh, any kind of repeating numbers. Two, 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 three, three, four, four, five, five, five. Anything like that. If you're seeing it. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, okay? We went up two, so that on the waiting game. Very interesting, okay? Hmm. All right. We've got deception and envy underneath it all. And in the last card, we've got power. Okay, but that's seven and eight. Wow. Oh, and two freaking eights. Y'all know me in numbers, right? Okay, so we already got two eights jumping out. I love that it's one, one, one. Two and then seven eight eight. Ah, okay. All right. So this could be a time of some advancement. It might even be career advancement. There's some kind of new beginning. Um, ooh, what is that power struggle? So we are letting go of there's some kind of harmony energy wanting to come in, right? With the new vitality. There's definitely new, 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 new. All those ones. New beginnings. Manifestation energy, right? Something coming into fruition. It's time, okay. It's definitely coming in. Feels more, um, maybe you're building on something to bring your dreams to come true. Because that's what it feels like. Dreams are coming true. Things are happening at a rather fast pace. But it feels like it's been a very slow building. It's like building and building and building up to this. And it's like all oh, the momentum and anticipation is killing me. Like, when are we going to be at full? Like, when is it going to come to fruition? When is the manifestation going to come? This, this uh, anticipation has been taking some time, right? So things are about to wrap up rather quickly. Um, I don't know if it started yet. However, it, it's it's... It kind of does feel towards, mm, no, I was going to say towards the end of the month, something, when is this shift happening? I think you're seeing something with a new light, which is allowing you to breathe this new light into you, which is allowing something, it might be just a change in perspective, really just a simple mind shift is helping everything else bring into alignment because you're choosing to see the glass half full you're choosing to be positive no matter what you're choosing to put that smile on your face and put your best foot forward because you're in this high vibrational state you can break free of this ah yes right the waiting game okay what i say it's been that building and building and building that's that anticipation energy you're gonna break out of it however um hmm is that external? No, I feel that is you. The deception and envy. Okay. Sliding backwards can occur. What does that mean? Okay. Um, that feels more like a temptation. Okay. Um, mm, don't be afraid to show the world the real you. You 
are uh, it's like you're chirping like a bird and you're all full of excitement and new life and energy and i love it and there's all this beautiful uh growth happening within you then why do you take a step back it's new 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 break free of some cycle you take a step back and then now i feel like i need to tell you don't let your fears hold you back and that's just what it feels like this process is on so what is this sliding back around um things happen too quickly and you are comfortable at you oh, what what is that feeling what is this um it's like you have this chance to break free and stop going round and round and round but then something happens and you stay there and you want to put that false mask back on and you want to keep going round and round and round and i feel like by the end of the month like i said what is holding you back is it you what are you afraid of that's what i feel like you need to get in touch with what is that fear it's something that needs to be released to be addressed it's like face your fears face them head on it's time to face it and deal with it um some of you may literally i feel like i need to add this maybe connecting with music maybe it's sound maybe it's frequencies maybe you just started listening to some meditation music and you're checking out binaural beats and you're listening to different isochronic tones or whatever it is you know um 693 hertz something like you could be connecting with music you could be working out some chakra blocks Ooh, why did i just hear producing the music um but it's literally focused around the chakras and nothing else um mm. i mean it makes sense like i was thinking he was blowing new life into his vitality right like um however uh, that would be a very small percentage of you um, that would relate with that, with the making some kind of shocker music. But I think it's more, I, okay, I think what it is more is you be the shocker music. Go beat the drum to your own, uh, what is that? Drum to your own beat. Whatever drum beat you're on, you don't need to match somebody else's drum beat. Beat the drum to your own beat. There's some kind of saying, like, it, it's me, who cares? Like, stand out, be, the, be your own drum beat to your own I don't know something you know what it is drop it in the comments I hear these like half things and I'm trying to put them together um beat the drum to your own drum beat right don't be like everybody else break free of the ordinary don't be afraid to shine your light and be be true to who you are it also ooh, I'm feeling a really strong kundalini energy okay so something could be stirring up with your spiritual awakening and there's it really feels like the energies are being set free within you, though. Okay, that could be the spiritual, um, uh, spiritual, the accelerated motion that you're going on. Um, this is like that wholeness, oneness, interconnected feeling. Wow, this reading got me all over the place. Okay, let's go back into, yes, there's something breathing new life into you. Maybe you're doing some breath work. Maybe you're connecting the chakras. Maybe you're making music. Whatever it is, it's bringing you joy, excitement, bringing that vitality to your chi, to your kundalini, to your prana, to your whatever, okay, right? Your, your vitality, your life force energy, whatever it is, it's restoring the energy within you, okay? Something takes off. It, it's getting you back to ground zero is what it feels like. It takes off out of nowhere. You reach high to the sky, new levels of awareness new levels of of fulfillment however like i said you get pulled back and you're doing it you choose to keep going around and around and around some kind of fear is holding you back so at the end of the month it feels like call a call to address whatever this fear is because it's time to let it go so you can move on because this is all great and you may have been feeling this all month and then something kind of pulls you out of it but it does feel yourself so tap into that fear don't push it down. It needs to be addressed because it needs to be let go. That fear is coming up. It's bubbling up with inside you to be let go. It wants to be transcended. It wants to be transmuted into love and light. Whatever it is, don't run from it. You're going to learn something from it. You're going to transmute it. Something's going to happen. And it's also going to get you back into this alignment, okay? All right, I hope in that last little minute there, I kind of wrapped it all up because I was going somewhere and as soon as I heard music, it went kind of left with the Kundalini. I was like, whoa, hold on, what's happening? Like, So yeah, I think at the end, I kind of wrapped it up to make it, things are going good. You pull yourself out of it, address the fear, 
get back in the alignment because this was like a beautiful start and you want to get back to where you were at Aries okay okay Aries we'll wrap wrap up your reading right there okay thanks so much for watching and let's get these in here give these cards a quick shuffle and we'll move on to Leo okay this is for Leo Sun Moon Arising. Also, if you're dealing with the Leo and you're watching, then cross watcher, the message might actually be for you. Okay. We are doing middle of the month messages from now until the end of June. Messages for Leo. All right. Get this one another quick shuffle. All right, one more. We'll jump on in. Okay. Get up, get up. Okay. All right, let's get a card for Leo. Perfect. Let's see what we got. Observe. Okay. Let's see. Let's get four surrounding cards for Leo for the. Okay, there's one. There's two. <laughs> they're coming out awesome. I like the way they flip out sometimes. Okay, they're just kind of falling out of my hand. I'll take them all. There's three. Oh, oh, that one was just kidding. It was the triumph that I was peeking out. I'm here. Don't forget about me. Okay. Well, okay, it's three. I'll take it. All right, you got a lot of energies going on. I was already feeling, well, I was feeling balance needs to be restored. However... Let's see if that's where we're at. Okay. So. Are those? Oh, I thought it was an ace. I was like, are those two aces? Okay. Facing and planning and love begins. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Recognition and reward. Hmm. This feels unfamiliar and not part of you. And maybe you feel disconnected from whatever that is. We'll see what's going on. Let's get these all around. Okay. Emotional withdrawal. Interesting. We got the heart chakra right behind it, but we also have the love begins. Ooh, another ace. Triumph uh, and success. Okay. So we got two aces. We also got, uh, okay. The shadow. The waiting game. Okay. Intuition. Wow. Okay. Intuition with the shadow. Hmm. I'm getting a small, um, uh, nope. I'm getting a small inclination. Sorry. I had three cards. I only wanted one there. I just wanted to make sure they all fit. Something romantic. However, you might be pushing it away. Okay. All right. There is a new opportunity for love coming in. There is a love portal opening up for you to jump into Leo. The question is, are you going to? Where the cards stand? We're, we're, we're going to find out. However, it, it, it looks like there's some hesitation with you. Um, and there might be some doubt, even though I feel you want to. Okay. So... There's the new beginning. First, you need to fill up your own cup before you try to. Um, mm, that's really good advice. Okay. I was about to say something different, but we're going to go with this. Okay. Make sure your cup is full before you jump in this relationship. There's that saying, like, make sure your cup's full before you, like, try to fill up somebody else's, right? However, for you, you need to go slow on your healing journey and make sure your cup is full before you try to go invest your time into love in a relationship okay because it feels like one is there if it it's not there yet it's coming this is the new beginning okay you recognize this this is like um man <laughs> it's like twin flame recognition or soulmate uh i don't i don't know how to say uh, i don't know if there's like a catchy phrase like there's like twin frame flame recognition but it's like okay when two souls who meet each other here in the physical and they recognize each other. 
something sparked up within them. Maybe it's deja vu. Maybe their heart flutters. Maybe uh, it just like they feel something energetically. Maybe they're pulled together like magnets. Doesn't have to be a twin flame. I'm not really getting that energy here in this reading. It feels more strong soulmate connection. Listen, we're all soulmates. Soulmate doesn't have to be romantic. However, with this, I am feeling some romance, okay? So I was just saying twin flame because there's that recognition feeling. People, oh, twin flame recognition. I felt it. I knew it when I saw him, right? That's the kind of feeling that's coming in. The recognition and reward. You both feel it and you both know it. Ooh. Something just, it, this was all about you, but I started feeling the masculine energy coming in. I was only feeling the feminine side, the masculine. The masculine needs a little help in this relationship. You, as the, in the feminine energy, feel it. They are drawn to, they don't know why. They want the answers. They want, they're the logical side of the brain. And they're not like tapped into the empath, the feeling, the right side, the, uh, intuitive side they're not tapped into that as much they look for logical and answers and they just think it's chemistry however there is a pull they feel the attraction too okay you both feel it okay here's the new beginnings there is this new beginning opening up <clears throat> i will say this you need to do some more healing with your heart chakra first i think you've met this person for a reason and they actually might mm, okay so there's the definitely the call for going slow with the patience and planning right that's beautiful go slow with this relationship it feels like you need to just kind of get to know each other maybe right now they're going to help you more as being a friend than actually being a lover i feel that there's chemistry on both sides you both feel it. we've got two aces right oh yeah this is that logical left brain like ace of swords energy yes and this is that right right brain feminine side ah two polar opposites oh my god and the polarities yes the light and the dark with the shadow right ah it's it's oh wow i was about to say your other half but listen we're all part of the same source energy so it's we're all each other's halves right um but that's that soulmate connection that's that um connecting the light and the dark the masculine and feminine the yin and the yang okay it feels more beneficial for you right now to go slow and it feels like there's going to be help from them coming in on a friendship level if you allow it or if they allow it one of you needs to you want to pull away okay i feel maybe you have some issues with trust um and they're very clear and decisive and they want to take action and they want to pursue this romantically you feel like the 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 mm, it, it, i'm not sure which side is which take take which side resonates for you because it, this could be the cross watcher part however um, I'm just going to keep saying you since I'm reading the Leo side. But if you resonate more with the cross watcher side, then take that message, okay? But <clears throat> we'll continue with the that's you that pulls away. Whoever the you is on this, whether it's the Leo or the cross watcher side, this person here has the fear of trust. They are uh, feel the connection and they want to go forward. However, there's this past experiences that are still, oh, that's the heart chakra healing that needs to happen, right? All these past experiences. This person lied. This person cheated. This person left me. This is abandonment. This is mother issues. This is daddy issues. All of this has affected you, okay? So there's some lack of trust. It feels like you really need some emotional support right now, okay? And since if you rush into this relationship and you don't get the emotional support, it's 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 not going to plan out the, the uh, plan. <laughs> it's not going to go the way you, you had hoped for, right? So there's this emotional draw. There's pulling at the heartstrings that you feel the connection, you want to move forward, but you just, you don't know why. You, maybe you can't trust them or what's going on. You're, you're pulling away from the connection and maybe you don't even know why, okay? You're looking for that clear cut answer and and why am I pulling away? It's because you have more healing to do. So what this is saying is go slow, build a friendship. It feels like they're going to be able to help you and on a, a emotional level um, more. They're going to help heal the heart by you guys just being friends. Take the time and go slow because if you jump into that fast, hot, heavy relationship, it's going to be the same thing again. It's not going to go anywhere. It's like, oh, every relationship I'm in ends. Why does everything end so bad? Like, why, when do I actually meet the one and things finally go good? Instead of the two sides, the light and the dark becoming one, when the masculine meets the feminine, it's like, trigger something. Let me trigger you, you trigger me. Let's push each other's buttons. And, and it doesn't go anywhere, okay? Here's the thing. I think you know deep down that they feel the same way as you do, and you feel the same way as them. And you might be running scared. Maybe it's scared of the connection. Um, 
However, I mean, that might be them. Again, cross watchers coming again. So take which part resonates with you. Um, but somebody wants to trust and they don't know how. And so I'm feeling a surrender moment. Literally just ask for help. Like, I don't know how to get through this. I, I, I don't know. Maybe you don't even know what you need, but you know you need something. There needs some emotional support going on, but I don't even think you know how to get to get to the end. It's like, I need something emotional to fulfill me before I can go on this relationship because my cup is not full, right? I keep dumping it out to all the wrong people and I'm not sure how to get my cup full again, but I'm ready for love and I want the love. So how do I fill up my cup so I, I will be ready for this next relationship? And maybe you just need to ask help from your angels. Maybe you need to journal about it. Maybe you just need to have an open, honest conversation, um, communication with this person and just say, hey, Here's my past. Here's where I'm coming from. Here's where my head's at. Here's where my heart's at. I may not know what I want. I may be moody this day. I may pull back a little bit. I definitely have feelings for you, but I just need to go slow. Maybe it's as simple as clear cut communication. That's a really good uh, Ace of Swords energy. Okay. So communicate with whatever it is. Maybe it's a journal. Maybe it's your angels, your guides, the person, something, but go slow because this could actually take off and you could break the patterns of whatever's been happening in all these old relationships. If you just take the time with it, but first, he, heart healing is like the main focus. That's what needs to be your main focus. If you're going to keep this person in your life, which it feels like you are, let them be the friend. Focus on your heart healing. Open up to them. Ah, that's also going to heal your heart a lot. Open up to them as things are happening. Don't close off. That's what the emotional draw is also saying. You'll close off and you don't want to open up about your past or your hurt or your pain or what you need in the moment or whatever's going off. And you just like shut up, shut, um, close up. But it's encouraging you. You want to break those cycles. Well, this time I'm going to tell you my feelings. I'm going to say what I need. I'm going to speak what I need emotionally. Okay. All right. Okay, Leo. We will wrap up your reading right there. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. And let's jump into Sagittarius. Ooh. Okay, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Also, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius and you're watching, then cross watch with the message might actually be for you. And we are doing mid-month messages. Middle of June, from June and uh middle of June till the end of June. Okay, okay. Okay, mid-month messages, Sagittarius. Let's get this deck. A couple shuffles. Wow, I just shifted energy and I'm feeling really weird things in my body. What is happening? <laughs> I've never felt this before. Sagittarius, what is happening? <laughs> Wow. Okay. Whoo! All right, one last shuffle. All right. Let's jump on in. Let's get a card. Center of the reading. Sacred chakra. Well. That explains a lot is where I'm kind of feeling weird things in my body. <laughs> oh, Sagittarius. Okay. Ah, there's also a very rushed energy happening within me. Like, I feel like when I rush, 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 get to the reading to stop what I'm feeling. However, it, it, that's not me saying this. I feel that's you. So you might be trying to rush through some process to try to hurry up to get something over with. Um... So we'll see what comes out because maybe it's need to slow down, but it, it's it's obviously going to be wrapped around the sacral chakra. But it's very rush, 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 fast. fast. You just want to get something over with is what it feels like. Okay. Yeah, because as I've said that now, the energy is leaving. So that's definitely confirmation on my end. That that's what's going on with you. And I'm not really feeling that. that I don't know what that was. Something in my sacral. Foreign. <laughs> I think it's making you really uncomfortable to whatever it is. Maybe that's why you're trying to get through this rather quickly. Okay. All right. 
Let's see what we got. Okay. Vacation and planning. We've had some repeating cards come out and all these fire signs. Victory and success. I like that. Hmm. I'm kind of doubting that though. Let's see. Suffering and silence. This feels a lack thereof. We'll see. Okay, I like how that ends. Prosperity begins. Okay. Something is being stirred up within you. Let's talk about the sacral chakra. That is your creativity. That is your fire, your passionate energy, your relationships, your sexual energy, okay? So something is going on with the sacral chakra. Actually, what I'm more feeling like is a block. It's funny because I was feeling something. I was almost feeling it. I don't know, okay? Ah, that's like where I was sitting. I, 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 uh, so I'm trying to... <laughs> sorry. I feel weird things sometimes. Okay. It was almost, uh, there was something going on with my sacral chakra, but I was feeling something weird when I was sitting. It was almost like a tailbone. So I was like, what is happening? Okay. Are we going down to the Kundalini energy, your base chakra, your root chakra, your vital energy, right? Uh, your life force. However, um, I think they were just guiding me to that because look at this card. Okay. I know that's the symbol for the sacral chakra, but it's like a box. I just want to open it. Actually, I wanted to open it that way. I'm like what's inside. Okay. It feels like something. Uh, Ooh, I was not going to use that word, but something's going to be unleashed. Okay. I like that though, because it feels very positive. Okay. It feels like something is going to be unleashed within you for your greatest good, for your higher good. I really like it. Could spark up a new creative endeavor a new adventure something bring about new people to your life uh harmonize some relationships it really feels blocked right now there could even be some extra weight there however it feels a freeing energy yes look at the light coming down it's not oh yeah it's not quite happening yet it might be a very slow process that's perfect with the patience and planning right however end of the month you might reap some rewards right you may be sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting when's the tree gonna grow when's the tree gonna grow when's the tree gonna grow your hands are sitting there watching and waiting like imagine your body like sitting there and you're just like behind it you know looking at it like staring at it okay when's it gonna when's it gonna grow when's it gonna grow okay well, you don't understand that like all this legwork all this roots had to be planted excuse me from the seed it's like you can't let's plant the seed and you have to wait for all this, I don't know why I was saying legwork, but all this other stuff that has to happen behind the scenes. So there might actually be some physical legwork um, or it could be stuff, energetic legwork that's happening behind the scenes since I said behind the scenes. Okay. So there's this call that for you to know, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Everything that's happening is happening for a reason. You may want to, yeah, there's that get out of that energy again. You may want to hurry up and rush through something. But if you wait, I mean, we've got patience and planning. Comes out beautiful, as I said, rushed. If you wait and hold off, not hold off, that's not the right word. If you just be patient, we're going to go with the exact word the card says. Hold off just a little while long. Be patient a little. I don't like that word hold off in this reading. If you're patient just a little while longer you will get to victory and success. I was feeling a lack in this energy uh, while well, looking at that, and you may not feel it's coming. So that's what I think this card is saying where you're at. It's almost like bored and contentment. It's not going to happen. This is blocked. It's like completely shut down. You're shutting something down. It's almost like you're giving up. Don't give up on yourself because that's what it feels it's going to lead into. Almost like, uh, well... I tried and I tried and I tried and I got nowhere. Well, you need to get up and try again. That's what it feels like. And instead of doing that, it feels like there's this moment of giving up. And that's what it leads to. Here's like some doubt, some hesitation. Um, this is like, it's over. It's done. Oh my God. I can't believe it didn't work out. Energy. However, just when you think you've given up, just when you think that door is closed, just when you think it's game over. Bam! Something comes in out of nowhere. There's that prosperity begins energy, right? The tree pops up and starts showing roots. You see the, the branches coming out. It's got leaves. It's coming into fruition. What is this? An apple tree? I don't even know. Orange is something. There's leaves. There's all kind of fruit on it. Wow! I never thought this tree was going to grow, right? That's the energy it feels like. I was waiting and waiting and waiting. I got frustrated. Oh, it shut down. Oh, I gave up. And the second you like let go of it, okay, let's go into that manifestation energy. You're 
you're trying so hard to control and force the outcome. So you're pushing and pushing and pushing on the quantum field. And all it's doing is rejecting you because you want it. And so the universe is giving you want. You're going to keep wanting, right? So you're just pushing it further away. So what happens? The second you turn your back, the second you give up and walk away, the second you're, I'm done, like nines are almost completion, right? You're almost, I'm done. You, well, you're not pushing on that quantum field anymore. You're not pushing so hard. You allow the tree to breathe. You allow the tree to be birthed. You allow it to rise up. Ooh, again, there's that kundalini. Kundalini energy being raised up. But I think that's also mm, some kind of passion with you that's being, yes, bring it back to that. Some kind of passion within you that's being risen up because it's bringing up to the sacral chakra. This is bringing in a lot of balance, okay? You have to go through this process. I mean, you really don't, okay? Listen. <laughs> Like I say in a lot of my futuristic readings, none of this is set in stone. This is where the energy lands today, okay? You give this a reading, say, hey, I now see what's coming. Let me kind of prevent this, work with this, speed it up, change it, do something. You know, go manipulate the energy in a good way, right? But you can see this coming. So if you just let go of the outcome, let go of the expectation, let go of that how I want it, I want what I want when I want it, it's going to allow it to come to you sooner, okay? So that's what this is. You don't actually have to go like, I don't know why I just heard fall on your butt, but like you don't have to like get to the give up energy, right? You don't have to get there. All you have to do is just let go, let go, just let go, let go of the control, let go of the expectation, let go of the outcome. Because the second you do that, that's when you get what you want, okay? But it's just the very beginning. It's just a little taste. It's just starting, right? But when you get the little taste, it sparks up a passion within you and the energy begins to rise. So it's probably not exactly Kundalini. I think that Spirit was just coming in to get me to understand what I was kind of feeling. So, so like I said, you give up on the on the wishing and wanting and waiting and forcing it, and it comes. It's that slow process. Slow, slow, slow. But it's igniting that passion within you, bringing that fire within you, a good fire, a good passion energy, bringing in a new creative something, project, passionate, something that uh, that you, something back into where you were. Whatever that manifestation is, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you're, you're um, whatever it is, you, you, it's like, oh, I want this. Well, then you realize, okay, well, let me stop saying the word want, right? Because we just learned that pushes it away. So it's like, what is that desire? So it's bringing that desire back to you. And then it's bringing that energy up within you, but it's allowing it to come. So here's the thing. It never, it hasn't gone away. It's like you put your order to the universe and it's been up here waiting shining its light down we'll get to you when the time's right but you just keep pushing us away we're still here we haven't forgot about your order and then it comes in but this has been a slow process so things don't manifest right in front of us in the physical immediately for reasons right like but <laughs> it, that's a whole chaotic other story however um it, it needs to allow some time to be birthed into new energies okay so again let go of the control you let go of the control and you let go of all of it tomorrow Hey, this prosperity begins can show up here and you can make kiss these cards goodbye and your patient planning can can uh, turn into a tree birthing into new energies. But that's your choice, right? Because we all have free will. So second you let go, you're going to get everything you want, whatever you're working on, whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're passionate about, whatever it's going to bring in. And that's going to bring in new people, new people. I like the relationship harmony it brings first. It, it it brings in your passion, it rises up, new begins within you slowly, slowly, slowly. And then new people will form surrounding this because I see them like forming a circle. So to me, they're like, uh, it's like all encompassing. It's like they're connected. They come about because of this, whatever that is. Okay. Um, so again, you want to speed up the process, let go, let go of the expectation, let go of the outcome, get the tree to rise even sooner. <laughs> okay Sagittarius we will leave your reading right there for tonight thank you so much for watching thank you all my fire signs for watching okay if you guys got anything out of this video if it resonated you learned something anything at all do me a favor that thumbs up button this way I know you got something out of it if you haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button but then there's that little bell right next to it you'll want to hit that bell and turn it on because i do daily videos i don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages coming in it might just be the message you guys need to hear right okay thank you guys so much for watching and be blessed